Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create a CloudWatch billing alarm to monitor our estimated AWS charges. Creating a CloudWatch billing alarm will allow you to monitor the charges on your AWS account to make sure that you don't overspend. So when you create an alarm and specify the amount you want to spend, CloudWatch will notify you when your billing charges have exceeded the amount you specified. To create a CloudWatch billing alarm, the first thing you have to do is log into the management console as the root user. So don't log in as the IAM user we created, log in as the root user. Only the root user has access to your billing information. Once you have logged in as the root user, the next thing you want to make sure is you are in the Northern Virginia region. So when you look in this upper right hand corner, make sure it is Northern Virginia. To change it, you can click this drop down and select US East 1 Northern Virginia. Once you've done that, the next thing we are going to do is you are going to click on your account name here. Then you are going to select billing dashboard. Once you are on the billing dashboard, on the left side, select billing preferences. And under preferences, make sure you check this receive billing alert. So make sure this is checked. And once you've checked it, click Save Preferences. And once you've saved your preferences, that's all we need to do on this page. The next thing we need to do is in our search box here, let's type CloudWatch. Once you've typed CloudWatch, click CloudWatch here. And this is going to bring you to your CloudWatch page. On your CloudWatch page, select Billing here. Then click Create an Alarm. And on this page, we are going to leave this as default. Our metric name will be Estimated Charges. The currency will be US Dollars. Statistic will be Maximum. And for the period, we can leave it for 6 hours. But if you want to either increase or decrease this time, you can do that here. But I'll leave it at 6 hours. Then we'll scroll down. For the threshold type, we are going to leave it as static. And whenever estimated charges is, we can either specify greater or greater slash equal. So you can pick any one of this. I'll pick greater slash equal. And then here we are going to enter our amount. So here I'll enter $10. So this is 10 US dollars. So how this reads is whenever our estimated charges is greater than or equals to $10 for six hours, this alarm will notify us. So this is just a good way to monitor your charges on your account to make sure you are not overspending. I like setting this value at $10 because it is a good amount to catch before it gets out of hand. So whenever this amount gets to $10, CloudWatch will notify me and I can review the billing charges in my AWS account to make sure that I don't have any services running that I shouldn't have running. Sometimes you will forget to terminate your EC2 instance, for example, and sometimes they cost money. So this is why it is good to set an amount and it is better to set a low amount. So that way, when you reach that amount, you can review your bills to make sure that you don't have anything running. So that is what we are going to set here. Then we are going to scroll down, click next. And on that notification, we are going to leave this in alarm. Then select an SNS topic. Here, we don't have any SNS topic yet. So we are going to click create a new topic. Once you've select create new topic, you can create a topic name here. But I'll leave the default name that CloudWatch is creating for me. Then here on that endpoint, this is where you will enter the email where you want to be notified on. So here I'm going to enter my email. Once you've entered your email, click create topic. And we have created our topic and you can see my email endpoint here. You can also click this view in SNS console. So I'll click that. It is going to open it in a new tab. On this page, you can see that the status of this topic is saying pending confirmation. That is because I have to go to this email. And when I go to the email that I used to subscribe, I shall have an email from AWS and I need to confirm that subscription. 
we are going to do that later on but for now let's finish creating our alarm so i'll go back to my cloud watch console then scroll down here click next and we are going to give this alarm a name i'll call it billing alarm then i'm going to give it a description Once you've entered your description, click next, then scroll all the way down and click create alarm. And there you go. We have created our CloudWatch billing alarm. And the condition of the alarm is whenever our estimated charges is greater than or equals to $10 for six hours, it is going to notify us. The next thing we need to do is we need to confirm our subscription. And you can see it is telling you here. Amazon SNS does not send messages to an endpoint until the subscription is confirmed. So here we were already in the SNS service, but you can also click this to see it. So I'm going to click view SNS subscription. And you can see here it is pending confirmation. And remember what I said, that is because I have to go into the email, this email that I use as my endpoint and confirm that subscription. So let me go into that email. I'm going to open my Google email. And you can see I have an email from Amazon here. I'll select it. And here I'm going to click confirm subscription. And there you go. Subscription confirmed. So that's all you need to do. Make sure you go into that email and confirm your subscription. So I'm going to close this and I'll close this email. Then I'll come back to my SNS page. And what I can do on this page is refresh. And you can see the status has changed to confirm. So now I can start receiving notifications on this endpoint. So whenever my estimated charges is greater than or equals to $10 for six hours, I will be notified on the email that I just specified. So this is how we create a CloudWatch billing alarm to be notified about your AWS estimated charges to make sure you don't overspend. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.